guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how the new MacBook Pro is just like, meh. By meh, I mean pretty bad. So let's get started. Welcome back guys. So this is why I think the brand new MacBook Pro is not a very good upgrade. So the brand new MacBook Pro is they just, the new 13 inch one, that's what I mean. It came out, I think last week, when you're seeing this, about a week from when most people will see this video. And it was a pretty bad upgrade because the internals of it weren't really substantially upgraded and the outside of it wasn't upgraded. So the only thing, they made some minor refreshes, like they finally got rid of the magic keyboard. They replaced it with their clicky keyboard. I forgot what it's called now, I don't know why. And they got an escape button, I think a physical escape button, and they just basically did a similar refresh with the 16 inch, but they didn't increase the size. But the upgrade really wasn't a big one, because if you look at what they did with the 16 inch, they just made the size bigger, they upgraded the internals, increased the airflow, they added the escape key, they did so many things, and we were all shocked, and many people were like, I'm finally going back to the MacBook Pro. But with the 13 inch, it didn't really draw in that many people with like the Dell XPS. It has a pretty strong market to compete with. And judging on how it's worked currently, it didn't do a very good job at all. So if you look at the current one, they didn't do any increased airflow. They didn't increase the screen size. They didn't do much at all. So how are we supposed to think of this as an upgrade? The only thing that they did, if you're interested in looking into it, is that they upgraded the CPUs on select models up to the 10th gen. The rest of them, the lower models, are 16 gen. And on some models, the base is 16 gigs of RAM. And I think you can get up to 32 gigs of RAM. That's kind of cool. But it's really not working, helping to turn that into a really pro laptop. Mind my word, it's a very good laptop. Even the previous gen model, it's a pretty good laptop. But in like the current day sense, it's not a very good laptop slash whole computer to use for pros. If you're doing like serious video editing, then it's not gonna be a very good one. But for some light video editing or even making some like short films and stuff, it's, a, it's gonna be a good laptop. But we're just disappointed of what Apple gave us. We want it to be an exciting uh, refresh every time, but it really didn't seem like that exciting of a refresh. So that's what I think. Uh, tell me in the comments below what you think. Like this video, subscribe. We're at 51 subscribers, but nobody has given me the comments. So I was thinking, let's do a Zoom call with the girl on the go, and we can like chat, and you can hear about all sorts of questions that you guys may have, that she had, and then we can just go back and forth. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll uh, check out my website and check out the type form. But if you're not a type form person, go into the comments below and just tell me. But if you want to see the 51 subscriber Q&A, just tell me in the comments below, guys. I have so many people who are watching the video. They're not commenting. Watch the video and tell me in the comments below. I want to engage with you and get hard at all sorts of things. We have really exciting things coming up. Thank you so much for watching and bye.